Welcome in, welcome in. What's going on, man? It's your boy, man. Before we get started, man, I need you two things, two things. Go ahead and hit that uh, like, subscribe button for me. That's if you're not uh, already subscribed. Also, down below, you can still leave your comments during this premiere, but put it in the chat. Hashtag new watch alert, man, because we got a new watch, man. So after I hit this, go ahead and hit this song real quick. Thanks to Ad. We're going to get into it. What's going on, family, man? It's your boy, Trap Vision 3D, man. Your host for this show, your favorite nephew, man, that dude you like to come and see, talk about watches. That's who I am. <laughs> if you're new here, man, welcome in. So, uh, got a new watch sitting right here. I'm going to flip you on this side of the table let you see it here in a second. But before we do that, what is the company we're going to be talking about? Matter of fact, I'm going to let you see the box. I told y'all, if you watched the last video, this one right here, or is it over here? I think I'm going to do it right here. I'm going to put it right there. This is the watch that we're talking about, man. It's brand new, and uh, I actually got introduced to the uh, CEO through Tommy Big Time Channel, man. I love making watches, so I love when people like wearing watches, because then I get feedback, I, you know, I get stock watches. So for me, it's a huge part of my life already. Um, I'm very open to that stuff. And, you know, our brand has kind of a weird place in the market because I've, uh, I've done some things that have gotten a lot of... Uh, Press, I guess you could say, using the brand, we did a very pro-masculine response to Gillette that was very viral. Uh, we did a pro-first responder and pro-police uh, uh, like police ad. Yeah, man, it was funny how they actually got to talk to the CEO of this company because it was one of those, Cliff was like, yo, come over here to this lab, man, they talking about watches, and he came in, he was like... Okay, what's happening? Tommy was like, yo, who is you? <laughs> bro, and I was like, I'm over here dying laughing like, man, this is crazy, bro. Like, and we talking to him, chatting with him in the, in the uh, down in the chat, whatever, live. And I got to hear his story. And then while he was on, I went over to his website and was like, yo, okay, it's a nice story, man. The mission statement is dope. Why he got started with the company, I like that. Um, and then what he represented, because I was military, for those that don't know. And he, you know, percentage of the sales of this watch actually goes to military and police. That's just his thing, you know. And he has, I mean, his list is long. Now, there was a question that was asked, is he considered a micro brand? And I know that, you know, in the he made a comment about like, well... I have featured, you know, like celebrities William Shapner, you know, George Pierre, UFC. And I mean, he has a laundry list of people that's adoring these watches, you know. So I'm like, he may be, you know, mainstream at this point, you know. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of mainstream watches or micro brands, whatever you want to call them. We're about to get into it, man. So I'm going to bring you guys on this side so you guys can see it for yourself. And let me know if you like it or not, if you're feeling it. Okay, family. So we're on this side of the table, man. And we have the eGuard watch box. Well, this is the case that it comes in, right? So uh, one of the things I was listening to uh, my man talk on uh, Tommy's channel, he was, like, testifying that he has a phenomenal product. He was talking about the quality and everything. So... I had to see for myself, and I know sometimes some people are real big into presentation, and they be like, hey, we want to see that this box is legit. Now, this isn't like one of the older boxes that I've seen with the two swords, the little on-guard swords, which, you know, that's fine. I mean, I don't necessarily have to have it, but let's go ahead and take a look, see what's underneath there. Uh, now, let me tell you, but before I pull this out, this watch... Uh, I pre-ordered this, all right. And uh, before we go any further, this is not a paid a paid promotion, y'all. This is I bought this watch myself. Uh, did not talk to the CEO about you know him coming on and presenting the watch or anything like that. This is 
solely my first time ever jumping off into something like this. Uh, Cause if you are familiar with the show, I normally rock and Victor watch. I didn't even wear a watch today. I left my wrist bare to actually try this thing on. Okay, so uh, just getting that out the way, letting you guys know if you were wondering. So let's take a look. Presentation. I'll be honest, the presentation I think was pretty dope. So go ahead and put that pillow back in there, and of course. Uh, I have not taken this out, this pamphlet. Oh, look at there. There's the two swords I was telling about. Didn't even know that was there. That is interesting. I like that. It's cushiony. That's dope. Instruction manual. I'm going to set the watch right here for now. Let's see how this, what's, what's going on. First page. So we're going to find this out together. All right, so it tell you the mode and everything. So let's check that out. Setting the day, day, time. Just telling you how to, how this watch is set up. And this is a Miyoto movement. This is a Miyoto movement. It's just telling you how to use. And I don't know. Put it down in the comments. How many people actually, uh, <laughs> actually read the instructions before they operate their watch? It don't look, tell the truth. Go ahead, put it down there. Tell the truth. All right, tips for maintaining it. Check the seals every two to three years, occasional exposure. And uh, this is a guy that's modeling it. Oh, you can register. I'm gonna register this thing. Haven't thought about doing that. Okay, so let's get into the watch. Now, at the 6 o'clock, you have a 24-hour, and these function pushers, actually, you use that to uh, set your date, you see that, I mean, your time, rather. Okay, okay. Well, again, I'm going to read the instructions. But then, of course, you have your second hands so ticking away, K1 crystal, and off top, I see the 30 down here. I'm really liking this case because it has like a gunmetal vibe to it. You got the e-guard on this side. There's a lot of pieces to it. And I love that right there, that leather. Now, what you guys can't see or smell, rather, is when I open the box, you just smell all the leather. Genuine leather. It's pretty, pretty soft. That's pretty the nice. smell of clean old pine soul looking boy. Really? <laughs> Nobody asked you to come here and say anything. <laughs> anyway, y'all. Now, this right here reminds me of, uh, uh, like, driving gloves, man. It just it just reminds me of those old leather driving gloves, man. My old, old. My godfather used to have these driving gloves. And he ride his Mercedes. He had a black pair and a uh, brown pair. And it had this type of leather in it. Perforated leather. But anyway, looking at, and y'all know, I'm real big on case back, so let's see. That's engraved. You got the two swords, Patriot. You got the model number. K1 glass. 50, miller, 50 meters of water resistance. Oh, man, they even got the uh, swords on the actual crown. That's dope. And see, I like that, man. The little details, man. Why are you clicking that? Uh, you know I can hear that. Get out of here. Would you get out of here with the clickety clicks? I'm trying to do what you told me to do. What you tell? What I tell you to do? Burn. Set this on fire. Oh my gosh! I'm I'm in the middle of a review. Thank you. I really don't care about your review. So disrespectful. You like your mama. Bruh. Anyway, uh, where was I? Anyway, so, uh, man, threw my whole thing off. So I was looking on there and was saying that you know these the battery in this watch will last like what two years. I know some people if they don't if they're not using it they'll pull the crown. Now let's see, is it? Okay, it is a push-pull crown. 
I wouldn't put this in the water because it has a leather strap on it. But uh, the biggest thing about this watch that I see so far is uh, when I was looking at it, I start to visualize like, okay, what am I going to wear with this? I'm going to tell you like this. This watch uh, will run you about $235, right? They do have coupons. And there are some people that will see this watch and say, hey, this is something I want to have because I think it looks nice, right? And then you'll get something that's like, okay, what's powering this watch? And then, you know, it's like, what's, you know, the company? What's the heritage? You know, there's some people, like, everybody's different, you know? So I can't tell you if this is something that you should get or you shouldn't. I liked it. I got it on solely because uh, I like the guy's history. I love, I never pre-ordered a watch before, you know? Uh, I've pre-ordered video games and shoes before, but I've never pre-ordered a watch. And I was like, okay, it's the first time for everything. I got it. And uh, so far... Let me see how this thing feels on the wrist because I haven't even taken this thing for a test drive, so to speak. So, and I'll, you know, I'll take some, should I take some pictures? I may take some pictures at the end. So this is, I mean, this is pretty dope. That's to no shape, I like it. I like it, it's comfortable. It's not as heavy as the watches that I'm used to wearing. <laughs> So I think it's a pretty dope watch, man. Oh man, let's check that out. Yeah, boy, that thing's nice. We doing something. Okay, family. So um here's my final verdict on this watch. Uh honestly, you know, as far as a review for this, uh aesthetically speaking, I think it's it's nice. It's a very interesting watch. Feels good to the touch, man. You know, that leather, man, is, is popping, man. I really like this watch. Um, I did mention that it is $235. Now, here's the thing about that, you know. Um, if you look at the case, I mean, dude, it's a lot going on. It's a busy dial. But, again, I, aesthetics, I love, I just love the way this watch looks. You know, I was one of the things. Uh, the other um, I say element that sold me on this watch was the fact that I had to pre-order it and I, I will say this about the company they keep in contact with you they like yo your watch is on its way or you know like it'll be shipping like they kept in constant contact with me because I, I spent my money on a watch and I hadn't had it in hand you know uh, now there are other watches they have some automatic pieces and because they have you know in my opinion uh, done right by me, you know, because I gave money first before I had product and they were sending coupons. They was like, hey, you know, they were just, you know, of course they're doing a regular advertising. That's what they're supposed to do. It's a company. They're supposed to make money, right? You know, but, you know, I feel like if they give you a, a quality product. Now, uh, out of fairness, I do want to take this thing for a test drive. I'm really liking what I see so far. You know, I see some brushed areas. I see some polished areas. So, you know, the actual, um, dial itself is brushed and then you know the case you see the little spots right there it's polished uh i did not measure measure this thing but i want to see what it was across even with that body molding on the side of it it's 45.8 millimeters uh this watch does not play as large as some of the watches i'm used to so for those of you guys that like the larger time pieces um I would still say try it. Now, you may feel like, okay, $235. If you're like me, you start comparing. What can I get, you know what I'm saying, for $235? So you got two time zones on there, Patriot races. So you got like that 24-hour military time at the bottom. Uh, it's a military-inspired sports watch. You know, very sporty, very light. But again, if you're like me and you're saying, hey, what can I get for $235? You may not be inspired by the story. You may not care about the backstory of why my man started this watch company. Um, you know, to each his own. But as far as if you're watching this and you're thinking, hey, should I get this watch? I think it's pretty nice. If you want to uh, hold out for a coupon or if you want to go search their website. And their website is super easy to go through. I went through, like, as soon as you click on it, boom, they got the men's, women's. They got accessories. They got all kind of stuff. But then you can still search down and see that he got a bunch of youtube stuff bunch of youtube stuff man you know what i'm saying so go check it out for yourself
go check it out for yourself. Um, again, this isn't a paid promotion, uh, but I will say if you don't have an eGuard watch in there, go look at some of the reviews. Um, they feature some of the best people that you, I mean, dude, George Pierre, bro, William Shapner. You got some heavy hitters that wore these watches, man. So I like this one because I pre-ordered it. It's new. I haven't seen anybody else do a review on this particular watch yet. So I'm going to go ahead and drop this premiere. I actually am about to finish this so I can keep that uh, freshness of being one of the first people to do this. Unless somebody, I just, I, I, I searched it. I didn't see nobody. So at the time of filming this, it's, yeah, y'all see it. Got any questions? I'm leaving uh, a link to Tommy's channel so you can actually see him in action and see the whole episode because I got a kick out of it. Uh, and I'm also leaving a link to how you can get to this watch. Man, y'all be on the lookout, man. Shout out to my man, Ice Cold Kyle. I got some nice watches on the way that we're going to review, man. So until the next Lightning Strike, you guys be blessed. It shines so bright that you can see it from Mars Man, he blinded me reflecting headlights from the cars He's got to be a rapper, baller, or a movie star But nah, he's too humble to be all of the above So he said my name is Trap oh, cause you bees in the trap Nah, it ain't even like that And he tilted his bull's cap Introduced me to his wife and she had one too Wrist game so cold that she could build it glues out of nothing They legit, they even bless their kids Man, when they all stand in the road, they look like four G out of rims, tight like Tim's on a New York summer day. I just gotta be down, but he had to set me straight like.